Requiem belongs to me now. Hey, welcome back lads. So the new Cold War Zombies map, Mauer der Torten, is now just a few weeks away and things are really heating up with teasers and that ending cutscene of the Season 4 Outbreak main quest and that has left us on a cliffhanger that directly sets up the events in Berlin. As we see, Berlin is attacked by both the Russians and a zombie army, turning it into like a, a hellish nightmare. And at first, the cutscene from Outbreak did seem a little uh, perhaps disappointing or unnerving underwhelming, but actually, the unexpected plot twists make the next map a whole lot more interesting, like, it really sets the stage for Mauer de Toten and pushes the story in a new direction, so let's play the cutscene in full and I'll be back to explain it afterwards. Okay, strike team. Time to come home. Shit, we're going down! Sadly, Weaver, them coming home is not part of the plan. Surrender now. Kravchenko. And you will be allowed to leave. You son of a fucking bitch. Requiem belongs to me now. So yeah, Raptor 1, our exfil pilot, is dead. He has been murderized. So I guess in Mauer de Toten there still will be an exfil system, but it will be a different method, like maybe the train that we've seen a lot in the teasers will be used as the exfil. Well, I guess we can celebrate that there won't be any more like helicopter cutscenes to end off a map, and hopefully they should be more exciting and more story filled. But yeah, so if anyone actually cares, there will be no more Raptor 1. He is he has perished in a fire fiery death. Now also, the actual big thing here is the fate of us, the players, right? We play as the uh, Requiem strike team that has now been captured by Kravchenko and he says he owns us now, apparently. Of course, Kravchenko was one of the villains from the Black Ops 1 campaign and he was like involved with or behind the brainwashing of Alex Mason, so I think us, the operators, are going to undergo brainwashing and will now be sided with the Russian Omega group and that will be real interesting to see a map and now the story from like this Russian perspective and a different point of view. That won't really have any effect on the gameplay or anything, it's more so just a story thing, but we probably won't be in contact with Weaver or Sam and the Easter egg will probably revolve around like, you know, being in contact with Kravchenko and also, what's her name? The, the, the woman? Oh yeah, uh, Valentina. Valentina is the person who originally came up with the idea to attack Berlin with Dark Ether missiles, but we kind of like foiled that plan in the first outbreak quest so I'm not really sure how this attack is going to go down now and also in some pretty old intel now Valentina was in Berlin talking to a, an unknown contact in German so I'm thinking that's probably Eddie or Richthofen and since we're seeing the story from the Omega Group's point of view I reckon Richthofen's also there like part of that group and is like a bad guy so that is how he could possibly be involved. Anyways I do think that's about it so stay spicy and I'll see you in the next one. We're gonna you know keep it kind of short and sweet today so yeah cheers.